Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Greedfall and we're doing another countdown. This one being top 7 tier 4 heavy whip weapons. This one will be rated by armor damage since that is the point of heavy, heavy weapons in the game. So these are the weapons you use to puncture the enemy's armor before you can actually deal some real damage to them with a better weapon. Uh, these are all very useful and again, like all tier 4 weapons, these are going to be found randomly throughout the game, either on corpses, in chests, or at traders. So that is really the best tips I can give you on where to find these. So, as far as locations go, you can feel free to ask, but I won't have a specific answer for you. But in any case, let's start it off with number 7. So at number 7, we've got this great brute of a weapon, the Blackened Executioner's Axe. This one having a physical damage of 301, so pretty high, but a nice armor damage of 94. Uh, unfortunately, being a big two-handed weapon, it is a little bit slower than some one-handed weapons, so I personally don't use them as much as the one-handed ones. But with that being said, it does have the best armor damage. So this one's great for getting in, getting two or three swings, breaking down the enemy's armor, and then getting your better, quicker weapon out. So that is number seven. Let's move on to number six. So at number six, we have the Great Steel Hammer, and this thing is a brute, it looks like. Uh, I can't imagine wanting to swing this thing too often. It has a physical damage of 370, putting it decently higher than the last one, and a armor damage of 96, putting it just a couple points higher than the last one. But that is number six, so let's move on to number five. So at number five, we've got this lovely looking weapon, the Heavy Mace with Steel Edges. This one having a physical damage of 380 and an armor damage of 98. Look at the flanges on that bad boy. You can really wail in someone's armor with that. But let's move on to number four. So at number four, we have this insane looking weapon, the Great Steel Pointed Mace, another two-handed heavy weapon with a giant ball on top and a ton of badass spikes. This is something right out of a medieval fantasy thriller of some sort. This one having a very high physical damage of 420, blaze it, and an armor damage of 98. Just can't even imagine swinging that bad boy around. That's just ridiculous. But let's move on to number three. So at number three, we have my personal favorite uh, heavy weapon here. Uh, the Impaling Steel Hammer. A nice, small war hammer. Very realistic. Uh, this one having a physical damage of 231, so significantly lower than the other ones, but an armor damage of 108. And the reason I like these ones is because they swing faster, so you can actually hit quicker. You know, the reach isn't quite as long, but you can get two or three hits in, in the time it often takes one for the other ones. So this is number three, but in my personal opinion, it's my favorite. So let's move on to the runner-up at number two. So at number two, we have this giant sledgehammer looking weapon called the Demolition Mace. This one having a physical damage of 400, very high, and an armor damage of 111. Very insane stats there. But it doesn't, uh, it's not very hard to believe given the just gigantic size of that hammerhead. So that's number two, and let's finally move on to number one. So at number one, we of course have the Great Steel Warhammer. This one with a physical damage of 352 and an armor damage of 114, making it the highest armor damage of any tier four heavy weapons. That's these purple ones, as yeah, you know, I said before. This one, uh, very cool looking in my opinion. Like I said, I prefer the one-handed ones, but very large head with a spike on the back and a spike on the front. Uh, looks like it'd be very useful, but also very heavy and very tiring. So that does it for all of our tier four, or not all, but the best seven of the tier four heavy weapons. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful. And now when you're looking for a weapon, you know which ones to keep your eyes open for. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.